And a lot of support across the Susquehanna Valley for a local wrestling coach recovering from a liver transplant. News H. Justin Betty reports. This summer, Jake Calhoun was in Daytona Beach, Florida, preparing for World Wrestling Team Trials when he collapsed from heat stroke. I went out in the Florida heat for a jog and for a workout and uh, just wasn't used, to, wasn't used to the Florida heat. Jake's coach and coach's wife were the first ones to find him. Uh, he had actually sent us on an errand for him uh, to get some stuff for after his workout, and we came back and actually found him laying outside the arena where he was working out. I've never been so scared in my life. When I, when I walked up to onto him, he just, you could tell by his breathing before I even got close to him, and I couldn't get him awake, and then I yelled for Brad. Jake was rushed to the hospital where his parents flew down from Wisconsin to be with him. There were just so many emotions. Um, we were praying the whole time um, that we were going to see our son alive when we got there. Ten days later, Jake received a life-saving liver transplant. And I had told him, Jacob, you are a strong individual. You are a fighter. You've been fighting all your life. You've had so many challenges that this was one more thing we were going to get through. Now his friends and family are helping pay for that transplant and the ongoing treatment, which cost upwards of half a million dollars with fundraisers. Wednesday night, several Buffalo Wild Wings in both Pennsylvania and Wisconsin donated 10% of their proceeds to Jake's cause. Yeah, there's a lot of people pulling for him, so we're looking forward to, you know, doing everything we can to help him get back on his feet. I'm so grateful for that, for, you know, my... My close friends and family, I don't know what, what I'd do without them. In Hanover, just a bit. But Jake recently returned home to Pennsylvania and says he hopes to start coaching again soon. If you'd like to donate to his cause, we have a link at WGAL.com.